So the first thing is that the readability is better than the old ones. Oh, it's still a bit fuzzy. In order to see it better, you have to zoom in really, really hard. Let's go like that. Then it's clear and easy to see. And the way it works is you, go to, you can go to any MFD, and just cycle it to any screen you want. And the cool thing is you can turn off display MFD casts. Then it turns off that thing and that thing. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't turn off all of the hard. So this, anything that's in the center of the screen is always there. That's a really bad thing, I think. And that stuff over here, that shouldn't be there either. Like, I want to have the option to have nothing on the HUD. Not a single pixel. I want everything to have an MFT, even the targeting system. Okay, so I can turn that off. And the cool thing is, all these settings, some of those are previously in the options, but now they're saved, I think, per ship type. So you can turn off couple mode directly from here, or use a hotkey, and different other settings here. And I actually like that, that you can physically interact with the MFT instead of reaching for hotkey on your keyboard. Because that's, I think, like in DCS, that's something that, that's, I think, more fun and feels more plastic. Then you have some kind of specific things here. And now the weapon grouping is interesting because I personally don't care much for weapons in this game. For me, it's more like a flying and traveling simulator. And I was able, within a few seconds, to figure out how it works. So I think it's, it's, it's easy to use for somebody who doesn't care much about it. So if you zoom in like that, got that four weapons. And it's pretty logical. So... See if you aim like that, your mouse wheel up and down. You see how it highlights a different row. So each, each mouse wheel scroll creates, uh, uses the next, the next row like that. Then you can configure it. So in this configuration, the first row would shoot the two FL11s, and the second row would shoot all four guns. You can customize it any way you want like that. I think it's really nice and flexible, so you can have all guns if you need them only specific gun types, or just one particular gun to shoot at targets where you don't need much firepower. Got shield screen, not that interesting for me. Self status. I'm not sure what exactly that thing does. I think it's like some overall damage state screen. But I'm not sure if that's superficial if you got a shield screen already. And we got target status. Now I got this abandoned ship that, that I found here. It's interesting you see here. That's a target, and it's also a scanning screen. So if I go up here, switch on scanning. I'm not sure why the screen flips back to, to some other screen. I think that's a bug. Let's go back to scanning. Okay, now the scanning screen is pretty interesting now. Again, I like that it's, it's not some hot thing well, most of it is not some hard. You actually have to lean down, zoom in into some sensor system, and interact with it, taking your attention away from the main screen, from the from the cockpit view. I think it's realistic because if you're a DCS player, some of those high-tech planes, on an Apache helicopter, you spend most of your time as a gunner at least, ducked down and reading sensors and, and systems like that. So you get signature, you got the parts that are on the weapon, and it's finally a functional MFT you can use where you can scroll like that. Scroll down like that. You can see its radar is off. And if it has any cargo. Okay, let's go to the next screen. Again, it's a general screen from previously. All the different systems here, and those are gunner specific things. Now, most of those I actually don't know what to do because um, I rarely use weapons in this game. Contacts, just I think for radio contacts, you can call your friends. And here's a power management screen. Now that's a pretty cool screen because it, I think they looked at how Starfield does power management and they went away from that, from that triangle to the bar screen that you got here. So if you zoom in like that, that's some, you kind of get stuck if you zoom in too much. You know, you can scroll here, different systems. You can see I got my coolers turned off. I wanted to see if the temperature rises if I use different systems. But currently on the Pisces, at least in the PDU, it doesn't have much of an effect. You can turn on the coolers. In this button, you turn off the entire system, and you can see how much power you want to give to it. And you have these discrete bars that you can use to distribute the power. I think it's much more elegant than the triangle. Because it's more functional, because I think the triangle was first used because it has that cool sci-fi feel to it, but I think this is more practical. You can see your emissions. Okay, so now I switched over to a Argo Raft in offline mode, and notice how how nice the HUD looks, or the MFD in this ship. Also how clean and, and readable the numbers look. That's because for this ship, they went for pure functionality, and they avoided trying to make it cool or sci-fi. 
and I'm going to show you a different ship. So I switched over to Reclaimer, and at first glance it looks it looks pretty cool. You have nice different colors, and also the colors are actually nicer because they're not trying to be monochrome with the colors like on the on the Pisces on the ML ships. At first it looks nice. You have this really nice screen over here, readable fonts, everything looks nice. Now, power notice here the the radar system in the center. You cannot turn off the radar, and you cannot change its color. See, there's no button to turning off the radar that's that's turning off the entire MFDs. Now imagine playing the game, and the whole time while you're playing and flying, you have this red circle pulsating on your screen all the time, even if you don't need it. I think that's another problem with this game, is that the point of a radar system or of an MFT is to be f look beautiful and functional, so it can easily easy to read and should look realistic. And it shouldn't be that thing that's constantly in your face when you don't need it. And here's what I'm worried about, is that it's going to take them another three or four or five years to, to address that issue. So overall, I think that the MFDs, they are, I mean, they're a big step from, from what was there before. But what the developers should really do is allow players to completely turn off any HUD, like without any compromise, completely just everything on an MFD, if I want to. And the same thing is to be able to turn off the radar or at least change its functionality so it's not uh, pulsating all the time.